to see you, Dave. Hey, hey you guys! Fantastic. Thank you for that. <laughs> Congratulations on the premiere last night. It was Thank fantastic you. to be there. I'll go straight into a tougher question. So season four, I, I've cried a lot in the, I think I said to you last night, in the previous three seasons, but season four, we're going to start crying for different reasons. What was that like for you? So you, you as a person, Jonathan, know what's going to happen. You as a character doesn't. How does that, how do you convey that in the character that you're playing? Well, does he? And how much does he know? That, that is the great theological question. How much did Jesus know ahead of time? And what did he keep to himself? And what did he share? And how much did the Father share with the Son? So uh, that, that's always a, um, an interesting bone of contention, uh, just for me personally as an actor trying to play Jesus Christ. Um, you know, having these particular storylines and scenes where there's loss, there's sorrow, there's grieving, um, and, and a lot of it this particular season uh, became challenging at times. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not an easy thing to, to, to authentically convey the most vulnerable emotion raw, uh, at, you, know, uh, at, you know, on command. And I think it just, it set a different kind of pressure for me. But uh, I think at the end of the day, you know, you, you just try to tap into what the reality of the scenario is and what's happening, what are the, the circumstances, and then it does most of the work for you. Mm. And I love the writing. I'm sure mm. you do too. So many of it, you know, it's just brilliant. And I love the comedy that's thrown in because without that, I think it would just be so tricky to watch. That for you on set, does that bring the, the lighter moments help you when you're portraying the character? Oh yeah, and I think, I mean, I think you need that, you know, in storytelling. I think if it's all one note or one feeling or one emotion, it can become overwhelming or overbearing, especially if it's, if it's heavier emotions. Um, and then conversely, if, you know, if it's all lighthearted and comedic, uh, then you don't get the gravity and the weight of the characters and, and their plight. So I think you have to have that balance. And I think part of the, um, the, the thing that we do well in terms of the, you know, sharing or, or displaying the humanity of these characters is, is what actually has been the thing that has attracted people to the story. They can now get a better understanding of, of the fullness of the sense of Jesus' humanity as well as the disciples. And how much say do you have in the character, like in the script? Is it all what's on the page, or do you get to improv at all? There's some improvisation, yeah. Um, there's been a number of moments that I've improvised and, and lines here and there. And um, like I think from season, I think it was season one, uh, the, the phrase not too shabby was something that I just improvised on the fly. Um, and, and a number of lines throughout. And then we, we have, the, Dallas is very collaborative, so if there's something that's on the page that feels like I can't kind of wrap my head around it or I feel like, well, what if we tried it this way or what if I, I, what if I did this instead of saying this? Um, you know, and so we'll have a discussion about it and sometimes um, my suggestions will make it. It'll be like, yeah, that, that's great, that's better than this or other times it'd be like, you know, it actually works better if you just say the line that's there. And so, so um, you know, we play a bit and uh, luckily we have, most of us, most all of the, the cast have the relationship with Dallas to be able to make suggestions if we feel so compelled to and, and he's open to just hearing what we have to say because at the end of the day, we're, we're all just trying to make the best show possible. Mm. And you can really see in all the, the dozens of featurettes that you bring out, this the mm. camaraderie with all of the cast. There's got to be quite a few WhatsApp groups, haven't there, with all, all in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got several going at once. And who's the most active? I don't know. It's not me. I know that. I, yeah. I, I, uh, there's a lot of people in the groups at some, some points. So, um, yeah, everybody just chimes in. But it's always to, like, be supportive or if someone else is, is doing something that's coming out and, you know, or somebody's doing a play and... You know, we'll, we'll let each other know and, and just always support each other. So it, it's, it's really become a, a family. How do you keep yourself grounded as Jonathan when playing such an iconic character? Uh, it's, it's not hard. I, I have very far to go to live up to Jesus. So I, I, I just um, I try to remember who I'm, I'm serving, who I'm playing. Um, and and uh, yeah, I just, just ask for, for wisdom and guidance. And, uh, and I've got a, a, a team around me that, that you know, reminds me that uh, ultimately none of this is about me. It's about the man I'm playing and, and the impact he had on the world. Cool. A lot of my friends were very happy with the, that Jesus wears leopard print after last night's <laughs> premiere. So uh, there was many comments. But thank you so much for your time today and congratulations on the show. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. God Cheers. Bless. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys.
<laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, hey, hey. I, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys.